Well, here's some examples of some complex figures that we could use. This is similar to what we've already been doing. Okay, and for this one here, if we're going to do the Lego unit, this is going to count as one tall. So one unit. So this one here would be, this uh, two by four brick would be a eight Lego units. Okay, so this is kind of like what we've been doing here. Now this is one that's a little bit more tricky. And we can see right here, here's the, the classic form of the crystal. Okay, and as you can see, that it has lots of different sides on it here. And if you take a look around the back, it's all pretty much solid through here. It might take a little bit of work to figure out exactly how many Lego units are involved in that. Then I have here my little pizza place, the pizza the Tower of Pizza, we'll call it. And as you can see, this one here has a uh, semi-tessellating uh, pattern, only going up a single part at, here at a time. But you can see the repeating type setup right there as we go up to the top. And then, of course, it's on the sides, you can see. And so this is not going to be an easy one to do, but it's one that if you can get some of it, you might be able to get a lot of it here. Okay. Now... Obviously, um, you guys will be doing some of your own, and of course I will be looking for creativity, and maybe there's a little bit that we might be able to um, put, on, uh, put on my YouTube channel or whatever for that, for, the, uh, for you guys, to, so you guys can uh, take a look at them, enjoy them, and share them to your, with your parents. All right. Can't wait. I know you guys are going to have fun with this. And you know I've got plenty of Lego for you guys to do.